Hey, we didn't see you there. We're talking about Spin. You want to join? Quantum mechanics, the final frontier into understanding our world. It may sound surprising, but understanding the behaviour of an individual electron could be the key to creating next generation technologies. Electrons and other elementary particles possess a property called spin. Spin is responsible for the magnetic moment of an electron. So spin can be thought of in a, in a, in a, as it's associated with angular momentum which involves spinning and so in that sense it's like an electron having some sort of internal spinning but it doesn't work for a point particle with no internal structure. So this really is a quantum mechanical effect and it was a conclusion, a consequence of trying to understand our world in terms of relativity and quantum mechanics. At Glasgow University, research is ongoing into utilising the properties of spin, such as manipulating spin structures within magnetic nanowires. So a nanowire, in that sense, is defined relative to the wavelength of the charges or the electrons that can travel across it. That's the sort of nanowires which we are particularly interested in. They're conducting nanowires. Glasgow University are using a highly advanced electron microscope to investigate nanowires' ability to store magnetic information as spin structures. These structures are called domains. One of the, the unique aspects of the microscopes, the electron microscopes in Glasgow, is an ability to image magnetic domains with very high resolution. There are very few places in the world able to do this. One of the reasons we're interested in magnetic nanowires is the ability to put information into domains within a magnetic nanowire. When you put a voltage across this wire, the walls can move. Here, the peak in the playing cards represents a domain wall. In nanowires, as in the cards, structures can move while the material stays still. Images taken by Glasgow's electron microscope can actually show these domain walls in motion. Now, understanding the physics of that is not entirely clear, but we think what goes on is that the spins in the current that you generate by putting a voltage across this wire interact with the domain walls in a process that ultimately is just conservation of spin angular momentum. And that is the essential scheme of what people call racetrack memory. You have a racetrack for the information, but physically there's no parts moving. You're just moving the magnetic domain wall. In racetrack memory, data is represented on a wire as magnetic domains polarised in different directions. These domains, the data, are moved backwards and forwards past a reed head, like an old-fashioned tape memory or cars on a racetrack. Well, one of the problems with the hard disk drives is they're wonderful technology, but they are limited into how small you can make them, and ultimately they're mechanical and they involve motors and, and various things that consume power. It's crucial that we be able to store huge amounts of information in as small a place as possible and to use as little energy as possible. There are different competing technologies. Magnetically, what you need to do is encode information and detect it. We can do better. We can even take the wires and make them three-dimensional and have them go up and down like buildings in a, in a, in a city. These are skyscrapers and the information's moving up and down you pack one over, here's another one, up and down, up and down, up and down, a whole array of these. And that's the vision. Investigating the fundamental properties of the smallest particles has led us to new technological heights. Discoveries made into how spin behaves have the potential to revolutionise everyday life, affecting us all in ways that we are yet to fully predict. 
as a physicist, I was always excited about all these these these, these bizarre, what to me were bizarre ideas, and quantum mechanics and uh, wave functions interfering and particles colliding and all of this sort of thing. But uh, what's around us in everyday life are examples, as we understand now, of exactly these phenomena. You don't have to go very far. Um, Magnetism is a beautiful example of that. It is we our understanding of it is that um, it's a consequence of the two great revolutions in our understanding of the natural world: relativity and quantum mechanics. That's how we understand magnetism. That is spin.